I have three updates for you. Viz. Firstly, Ethiopian government is going to start national dialogue in September. We heard a statement from Lene Siom, Ethiopian government spokesperson. Does it mean that uh, uh, war in Tigray is going to end and uh, talks could start between TPLF and Ethiopian government? We'll talk about that. Secondly, two senior uh, military officers uh, allied with Tigray Defense Force have been arrested over the past 24 hours. We'll talk about that. Thirdly, I have an update from Somali region. We have seen very strong statements from Somali President uh, Mustafa against TPLF uh, in the past few days. Somali opposition parties uh, uh, have called for a ceasefire in Tigray, but they uh, have not announced their intention to join Tigray People Liberation Front. Now, reportedly, a new group is in the making in Somali region. The group wants to join OLA and Tigray Defense Force. We'll talk about that. Firstly, viewers, uh, national dialogue in Ethiopia. Ethiopian government spokesperson Billy Nesiom says that preparations are underway for a national dialogue due to be held in September. Ethiopian government wants to start a national dialogue. A roadmap is being finalized in coming days. Participants will be invited to be part of this national dialogue. Is it a new initiative? Does it mean that Ethiopian government is going to start talks with TPLF? No. It's not a new initiative. Uh, even before election was held on June 21st in Ethiopia, uh, we heard from Ethiopian government that after election, it, 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 it will start uh, national dialogue. So it's not linked to the recent developments uh, regarding Tigray war. Uh, Ethiopian government has been saying for several months that it will start national dialogue. Uh, it does not mean that Ethiopian government and TPLF are going to start talks. Secondly, TPLF is on record. It says that uh, unless and until Ethiopian government uh, accepts preconditions announced by TPLF, uh, there uh, won't be any talks with Ethiopian government. TPLF wants Ethiopian government to agree to some preconditions announced by TPLF. But Ethiopian government has not agreed to any preconditions. It wants talks with all stakeholders. So I don't see this announcement as a positive development. And secondly, TPLF's response is also awaited. Will TPLF be part of these talks or not? And secondly, will Ethiopian government invite TPLF or not? Because according to Ethiopian constitution, TPLF is a banned organization. Uh, uh, Ethiopian parliament banned TPLF. How can Ethiopian government now invite TPLF for talks? when its parliament has banned it. So several questions are unanswered. In coming days, we'll see which participants will be invited by Ethiopian government. Will TPLF agree to be part of this process or not? Secondly, viewers, uh, over the past uh, 48 hours, two senior military officers working with Tigray Defense Force have been arrested. In the previous video, last night, I informed you about uh, General Marsho Bijine. He is a major general. He has been arrested. General Marsho Bijine uh, was charged with conspiring with TPLF to subvert Ethiopian constitution in November. His arrest warrants were issued. Uh, he has been arrested. Reportedly, he was trying to flee to Benishangal Gumma State. Uh, 
Ethiopian government authorities say that he was trying to enter B. He was trying to enter BG. Uh, we have seen uh, uh, operations uh, by BLF, Beni Shangal Liberation Front, in Beni Shangal Guma State, uh, and Ethiopian government, regional government of BG, accuse uh, TPLF of backing fighters in uh, Beni Shangal. Ethiopian government says that General Marsh of Bijine was trying to enter BG to uh, plan uh, a rebellion against Bene Shangal Guma state. TPLF is certainly in touch with different groups uh, fighting in Oromia, BG, uh, afar as well. Uh, secondly, your second uh, officer arrested by Ethiopian National Defense Forces is a lieutenant colonel. His name is Gabre Hivot, Gabre Lof. Uh, he has been arrested on Gase front. Gase is close to Debre Tabor. He has been shown on TV as well. Uh, he was fighting on this front, Debre Tabor front. He has also been arrested. Thirdly, we would so Somali region. Reportedly, a new group is in the making in Somali region. The group is expected to join Tigray Defense Force and Romo Liberation Army. TDF and OLA have stuck a military alliance. Now a new group is in the making in Somali region. Name of the group is SPLF Somali People Liberation Front. The group wants to join hands with TPLF and Romo Liberation Army. In Somali region, we saw massive recruitments uh, in regional forces. Somali region has sent uh, its regional forces to fight in Amhara region as well. Mustafa, Somali region's president, issued very strong statements against uh, uh, Tigray People Liberation Front. ONLF, uh, uh, which has been fighting in Somali region for decades made peace with Ethiopian government in 2018. Uh, Somali opposition parties, uh, uh, though they are calling for ceasefire, but uh, none of them has joined TPLF so far. Now this new group is in the making. Uh, we don't have much information about uh, who will lead this group. It's being reported that this new group is in the making. Like we saw in Gambela, in Gambela too, after election, a new group was formed, GLF, Gambela Liberation Front, and they are reportedly Gambela Liberation Front, OLA, and uh, BLF. They have, they have uh, joined hands, they are working in collaboration.